I've got an elastic heart. Listen, when you have a big heart, you know, I got this word a couple days ago. But if you ever had a falling out with someone or a disagreement with someone, misunderstanding with someone, or you may have vented to someone or opened up to someone about your personal life, you know, um, you got to watch out for people who, as soon as this stuff happens, they're so quick to run to your enemies. They're so quick to run to people who don't like you or who hate you. That is someone that was never your friend. That was someone that was never your supporter. That is someone that never loved you. That is someone that always despised you, always had some type of feeling against you. Just they did not like you at all. For someone to run to your enemies because of a misunderstanding, because of a disagreement, because of whatever happened between you guys. For someone to run to your enemies right after means they were never a supporter. They were never someone that loved you. They were never a lover. They were never a friend. They were never genuine in the first place. There's people who are so mature and who are good people that when they go through misunderstandings, when they go through um, trials and tribulations with someone, they will just cut ties and go about their way. They'll cut ties and go about their way. They're not going to go hang out with their enemies. They're not going to go talk to their enemies. They're not going to gossip about you to the enemies. They're going to go about their way, and you're going to go about your way. But whenever you see someone that runs to your enemies, as soon as they have a disagreement, that is a fake person. They were a fake the entire time. That is someone who God talks about in James. That is a scatter-minded person. And you can't let people like that get to you. And yeah, you have a big heart and it may hurt because you may see that person and be like, man, I sat down face to face with you. We had a full-blown conversation. I opened up to you about my family about my children if you have children about my job my warfare my kingdom partner i opened up to you about my life or i opened up to you at, you know about this that it's like even if it wasn't someone that you opened up to the fact that they were around you before or they were associating before and they were smiling in your face and as soon as you had a misunderstanding and disagreement whatever happened between y'all and they run off to your enemies that is a fake person that is a, it means they were never genuine. There's no reason to be hurt by that. And I understand it will hurt you because you have a big heart. You have an elastic heart. That's why I just sang that song. You have a big heart. It's understandable. One thing about us gifted chosen ones is we are, we have big hearts. We expand our hearts to a lot of people because we love so much. We don't put limitations on our love and that's the problem. It's not that we shouldn't love someone, but we should have boundaries. Don't put limitations on the love you have for someone, but put boundaries on how much access you give someone when it comes to letting them in your heart, letting them in your personal space, letting them in your life. This world gets more crueler and meaner by the day, by the day. And it's, it's a very hard situation to be in, especially for a child of God that comes out their wilderness period. I've already come out my wilderness period, but I know there's many of you guys coming out your wilderness period now because this is your season to shine. This is your season to be, you know, on the forefront, whether you're on a platform, whether you're just writing, whether you're, you know, a public speaker. God is putting you, putting you out on the forefront. And I understand that it's very hard. It is hard for someone who's already been out there. It's hard for me still. And I've been out here for a minute. You see what I'm saying? So... Just continue to push for it, continue to have faith. And when, if you've experienced something like this, just understand something about value. And thank you for reminding me. Understand something about value. So God is funny. You know how God shows us cartoon characters sometimes? He showed me the Pink Panther the other day. I'm like, why are you showing me the Pink Panther, that cartoon? So I'm, whenever he does that, I go to Wikipedia. Because I look at the, the characteristics of the cartoon he showed me or I look at the characteristics of the person or the song or whatever. And I get and I look at it and I'm like, OK, it makes sense why he showed me that. So before he showed me Pink Panther, he actually showed he actually said to me, um, he said high value. He said, you are high value. And that was one of the words I was supposed to put out yesterday. But I guys, I wasn't feeling well. But he said, you are high value. And I said, OK, got that. 
Last night, he showed me Pink Panther. When I looked up Pink Panther, Pink Panther originated from a diamond. It's a, it's a, the name came from a diamond. The definition of it was a high value diamond. That's where the name Pink Panther came from, a high value diamond. <laughs> so when I saw it, I was like, God, oh my gosh, you did say high value yesterday. And I did write it down. I didn't put it out. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put it out tomorrow. So today when I got this word, not today, sorry. When I remembered about this word about, you know, the fake people and all that stuff, he just reminded me of the high value. You're When you're high value, and I'm not, high value does not mean being financially rich listen there's some financially stable men and women out there who have no values at all you may look good with money but it does not mean that you are high value you may look good with money but you may have a nasty attitude you may be very rude you may be very snakeful you may be very evil and that does not make money does money does not make you high value the high valueness of an individual comes from their heart comes from their characteristics come from comes from their traits comes from the type of person they are and this is why god has me and james right now because james talks about all that he, it talks about all that so when you see people out here doing this they were never high value they were never high value they were in fact your enemy and they were in fact your hater they were in fact your secret hater because anybody that will befriend you talk to you or associate with you and then as soon as one little fall enough you were not disrespectful to them and you just pulled away maturely and they went and started gossiping slandering smear campaigns about your name or about you as a person they were never on your level to begin with and that confirms that they were always your enemy and that confirms why they were your enemy because they knew they knew your value they knew your level do you see what I'm saying? Don't let people who don't have standards to respect themselves enough to carry themselves in an adequate way get to you. Okay? I love you guys. Bye.